Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new EA Sports FC 25. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC. And once you're over here, go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Disabling game bar will help you to improve your FPS by turning unnecessary services back in the background. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by disabling things in the background, allowing you to gain extra FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that, head over to change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games as both of them will help you to improve your latency and use your GPU for rendering the game. Once you're done with that, close your settings. Step number two is compatibility settings. And for that, open up Steam on your PC, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're over here, locate fc25.exe, right click on that, head over to properties and then go over to compatibility, click on disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high DPI settings, click on override high DPI scaling behavior, click on OK and then click on apply. Once that is done, close your folder. Next step is deanimating windows and this is super simple. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and once you're over here, click on custom, select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will help you to disable unnecessary animations on your PC, meanwhile keeping the ones that are really important. This won't impact your FPS a lot but the next step will. Head over to the advanced tab and then go over to virtual memory. Click on change and deselect automatically manage paging file size. For custom size, set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size, head over to calculator on your PC. Once you're over here, multiply the RAM of your PC with 1024. I have 32 GB RAM so I have to multiply this with 1024 to get it in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and the value that I get over here is to be put in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on set, click on OK and that should be it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here look for a local disk C. Click on create and name it FC25 so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, click on close and that should be it. Next step is downloading the FC25 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in five simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority. Head on to that and if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and use the AMD CPU priority. Once again, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to improve the performance of your CPU. Head back to the main folder and then go over to FC25 priority. For this, I want you guys to comment your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority to choose from in this list. Third folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left 8 ton of registries. You guys can select the RAM that you have on your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to double click and run this one. But I have left a ton of presets for you guys. You can pick according to your RAM and if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default. Default. Next step is the programs in which I have left three simple programs. First one is clean temporary files. Right click on that and run this as administrator. This simple pop-up will ask you to delete all temporary files on your PC. Simply press any key and this will start deleting all of them. Once that is done, click on the same button and that should be it. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Right click on this as administrator. Over here, it will open all of your hardware on your PC. You have to locate your GPU and then click on the MSI button in front of it. And for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high. Click on apply and close it. Last is the Win Memory Cleaner. Right click on this as administrator. Once this opens up, you have to click on auto update, close after optimization, uncheck run on low priority, show optimization notifications, show virtual memory, and for the memory areas, click all of these and deselect system working set. Once that is done, tray icon should be memory image, process excluded from optimization, do not leave any process. Auto optimization every one hour and when free memory is below 30. Once that is done, click on optimize. This will freeze your PC for 1 to 2 seconds as the optimization will take place. But once that is done, this should help you guys to improve your RAM. Next step is disabling unwanted services. And for that, head over to unwanted services folder and you'll find a ton of services on your PC. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth services, I highly recommend you guys not to disable this one. But other than that, I want you guys to disable every single one of this as this will help you to gain extra performance by disabling core parking, downloading maps, unnecessary 
necessary services, printer service, transparency service, Xbox service, and improve your thread priority and Win32 priority separation. Once again, if you want to re-enable any of them, you can always use this folder. Once it's done, close your FPS pack. And now let's move to the next step that is disabling sysmain. Press your Windows key and then search for services. Once this window opens up, press S on your keyboard and look for sysmain. Once you find it, right click on that and then stop the service if it is automatically running. Head over to properties and then the startup type set this thing to disabled, click on apply and then click on OK. Once that is done, close it and now drop into your game for the best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to your settings and then go over to settings. Head over to game settings and then go all the way onto the right into the display configuration. Over here, you'll find your resolution. Set this thing to your native monitor resolution and your display mode should always be set to full screen. Refresh rate, set this into 144Hz and frame rate should be set to no limit. Vertical sync should be turned off and dynamic resolution scale should also be turned off. Cutscene quality should be half frame rate. Then all of the settings, you have to copy it like this. Strand based here, off. Rendering quality, medium. Grass quality, medium. Crowd quality, low. Cloth quality, low. Ambient occlusion quality, low. And motion blur, off. You can also keep clothes quality to medium as it does not really affect your FPS performance drastically. Once you're done with that, press space bar to apply these settings. And that is it. Once you're done with the settings, drop into your game and let me know if this works out for you guys or not. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers. We have also launched channel memberships. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership as it really helps me out as well. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.